Hey, Tavir. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, how are you? Welcome to the National Science Center. Mm -hmm. We're here in front of the Fab Lab. Mm -hmm. Let's go and take a look. Okay, cool. Welcome to Fab Lab. So Tavir, thank you so much for coming to the National Science Centre to meet us, to share it's your experience with the NYSC camp. It's a pleasure to be here. So how are you feeling today? I'm good. So how did you feel when you found out about the camp? I was excited, but a little bit scared. Yeah? And how was your time there? It was incredible, like, life-changing. And what was your first impression? Well, the people, they were all kind of friendly, and the camp itself, it was rustic and peaceful. Share something you learned about the camp. I learned, like, a lot of things with respect to STEM because the lectures, they were very engaging. And what was your favorite food? The, the chicken pot pie. That least, was really good. Least favorite food? The meatloaf. That wasn't as, as hot. Funniest experience? Funniest experience? Well, the staff members, um, they did like a lot of um, antics, which was very funny. What was your biggest fail? I thought that I would not be able to cope with everything, but I managed well enough. What advice would you have given yourself before the camp? To take every day as if it's your last because you will miss it a lot when it's over. Top three memories. Oh, okay, um, my, my ultimate frisbee game, the rounds in the morning in the forest, and um, the morning show. And what did you do on your time off? I played a lot of football with my friends. And what was, which lecture did you find most interesting? There was one on um, under modulation, which was like very engaging. Did you meet any of the scientists? Yeah, we had um, a chance to interact with them outside of um, the lectures. So yeah. So what about performing arts? What did you learn? I learned um, a lot of dancing, like in terms of hip hop dancing and Scottish square dancing. Can you perform that for us? <laughs> Favorite place you visited? I can't disclose that. What did you like most? I liked um, the people. Everybody was like so friendly and kind of ready to help. What did you like least? Nothing really. Everything was kind of perfect. And what outdoor activities do you like and you'd like to pick up now? Well, the mountain biking. Which yeah. activities scared you? Mountain biking. <laughs> and what advice did you receive and cherish during that time that will last you forever? To take each day without the phone as like um, an opportunity to interact and engage more with the camp. Okay, what is something that you know now that you didn't know then? Like a lot of things with respect to like um, the neuroscience and stuff and more components within STEM. Have you changed as yeah. a result of this camp? Yeah, for sure. How? I feel a lot more balanced and a lot more centered and kind of driven and I feel I need to make an impact now. And where do you see yourself in 10 years? In a position where I can help people, like, every day. If your time with the camp were a song, what would that title be? Country Rules by John Denver. And participating in this camp, how did it shape or influence your career path? Like, um, for now, I understand more of the, the importance of research, so I would try to incorporate that now within my career. Tell me a secret about the camp. I can't. Any advice for future participants? Take every day as if it's your last and try to do as much journaling as you could, meet everyone and try to just expand your network because you will miss camp a lot when it's over. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us about your experience? I'd like to thank um, Nikos for facilitating the selection process to the US Embassy as well as the National Youth Science Foundation for giving me this incredible opportunity. Great, thank you for meeting us to be here. It's no problem. <laughs>